Hey YouTube. So I'm here today with a review on the hair that I'm wearing right now. And the hair is from AliExpress. It's from a vendor called Woe Wigs. And if you see me looking down, it's because I have some notes written down. And I will leave the link in the description box. But several other YouTubers have done a review on this hair. But I wanted to come and give my own personal review as someone that did pay for the hair. Just to get started, the specifications of the hair, um, I have in my head a 16 inch closure with the 20, 22, and 24 inch bundles. I used pretty much all of the hair and what I did was I constructed it onto a full cap, so it's a full unit. I made it myself and I actually have a video of how I construct my units if you guys are interested. So. I just want to be completely honest with you guys about my experience so far. So the hair took about two or three days for shipping. It didn't take long at all. It was supposed to be here the second day, but I wasn't here and I didn't leave a note. So they ended up having to come back the third day, but that was my fault. So that was a really good plus. Some other great things about the hair that I like, shedding. It's very good on shedding. Um, I've had mi very minimal shedding, you know. I don't care what anybody says, all hair is going to shed. All hair. So for somebody to say, oh, I have zero shedding, zero, they're lying. You automatically know that they're lying. But the shedding is very minimal. So that's another great thing for me. And then another thing that I'm really, really pleased with about this hair is the closure. Now, if you guys have worn AliExpress hair before or just other hair in general, well, closures in general. Some closures you get, they will be like entirely too dense and you have to sit there and pluck out way too many hairs and it's just a very time consuming process. But this closure was like amazing. The density is like perfect, literally. I did pluck it, but I promise it only took me maybe five minutes. It wasn't something that took me forever to, to customize. And I didn't have to pluck it, but I just prefer for there to be a straight line with no hair. That's my personal preference. But you can get a, you could have gotten away with it without plucking it. Um, and the last plus about this hair that I do like is that the wefts are constructed very well. So I have the hair that I have left over and I could have gone ahead and added this in here, but I was pressed for time and I didn't really feel like it. Didn't think it was gonna make a difference. But this is the hair in its natural state. It is Brazilian loose wave. I forgot to mention that um, earlier. But I'm gonna try to give you guys an up close of the wefts. The wefts are constructed very well. They weren't too hard to, um, to pierce through with my needle because I do go through the wefts, you know, at some point. And they weren't too hard, but they're also very strong. Some wefts are a little loose, which allows for hairs to come out a lot easier, which causes more shedding. But yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the overall construction of the wefts. So now that I've gotten the good out of the way, on to the bad. So some things that I didn't like about this hair, this hair tangles and it doesn't mat, but it does tangle. Um, like back here around the neck area, like probably after 10, 15 minutes of wearing it, like you, if you don't brush it out, it will be like a knot back there. Now, there's a difference, like when I said there's a difference between tangling and matting. I've had hair before that literally mats. Like the hair that sticks up on your neck when it, um, reacts with like your body heat or sweat or whatever that's matting now this hair does not mat it didn't mat but it did tangle which i'm not gonna say it's to be expected with any um weave i'm not gonna say that because i've had much better hair that um that does not mat or tangle as much i'll say now, if you're going to the gym and this hair is laying on your neck, then that's that's understandable for you to have tangling because there's legit sweat. But I don't think that hair should tangle just from body heat. 
you know what I'm saying right now it is it's winter time I'm in Maryland so you know you're gonna have a coat on you're gonna have a scarf on you're gonna have a hat on so there's body heat that's gonna react with the hair on your neck so it kind of does cause a little bit of tangling it's not extreme it's definitely not extreme but it is something that I don't like about it um, so the next thing on the bad list this hair does not hold a tight curl it doesn't now if you're somebody that likes this look here this this Kim K loose um, loose curl type look then honestly I would recommend the hair for you I would but me I like bombshell curls this is okay sometimes but me personally I want some tight tight curls and I'll insert a picture of the tight curls that I normally wear on my um, when I have an install I I like this look too but you know I just like variety I like to be able to do this and wear my tight bombshell curls this hair Bombshell curls will maybe last you maybe an hour and then it'll fall to something like this, which is not bad. Because I'm someone that has had better hair before, I'm actually a hair bender myself. Um, I usually only wear the hair that I sell. So when you get used to a certain a certain grade of hair, it's kind of it's kind of hard for you to be able to accept anything less than that so overall if the question is would I recommend the hair the answer is yes and no yes I would recommend the hair to someone that may not necessarily be into spending a lot of money on hair on a scale of trash to bomb.com it's in the middle it's not trash but yet it's not the absolute cream of the crop it's in the middle would I wear this hair yes I've been wearing this hair for about a month and I'm gonna continue to wear it um, probably for another couple of weeks into a month just because it's, it's not bad you know it's just it's not what I am used to personally and so on the split side I would not recommend this hair to someone that is a frequent and more seasoned weave wearer if you already have a certain taste, if you expect a certain top of the line quality, I would not recommend this hair to seasoned weave wearers. But is this hair, is this hair okay for the person that's only doing a one month install or for the person that only wears weave, you know, two times a year? Absolutely. I, I would recommend it. The only reason I would not recommend this hair is if you're somebody that likes a tight curl. If you like this this loose curl, this loose wave type type look, then I say go for it, honestly. I don't regret paying for this hair. I don't. Um, I was a little disappointed in the quality, but that's only because I'm used to top of the line hair. So I mentioned that I am a hair vendor and I just want to explain the reason why I decided to try this hair. I follow, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Jayla Corian. She's another YouTuber, but she did a review on this hair and I watched her review. And I mean, if you guys um, look at her review and you guys see the clip that she inserted when she installed the hair in its natural state, it was just, oh my gosh, it was so gorgeous. It was so gorgeous. And I was just like, up. Oh, I have to try it I literally have to try it so I went ahead and tried it out and I just I don't want to be biased or anything because I have my own hair company but you know I said you know what let me support somebody else's business let me see what it's like and be able to give an honest review so overall it's okay it's not the best I've had but will it do yeah it's it's working for me it is and the only thing about this hair is to avoid that whole um that whole tangling thing I usually keep it all in the front I don't have any problems when the hair is in the front but when I wear the hair in towards the back and I let it go 
that's when it reacts with my body heat and it's just it's just not a good combination and I'm not even somebody that sweats like that let me get that out there so I'm gonna stand up and show you guys where the hair falls on me it's 24 inches so it comes down a little bit a little bit past my hip yeah and I am five feet so if you guys were wondering it's kind of long but hey I like the long look but yeah in the front it comes like to my belly button so I like it I do I like it my only issue like I said was not being able to wear tight curls but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this review and if you guys want to see anything else or have any more video requests from me let me know and I will see you guys in my next video bye